sources of noise. The high noise levels found in severe service applications provide the potential for many risks. Vibration and noise can damage the structures themselves, pose safety risks to workers, or require costly repairs to valves, pipes, other instrumentation, and surrounding equipment. The potential for noise and vibration exist whenever a disturbance in the flow, such as a throttling control valve or change in piping configuration, causes turbulence within a system. Noise and vibration generation in pipelines involves a sequence of events. The flow is disturbed, which generates acoustic pressure fluctuations. Turbulent fields are created inside the fluid stream immediately downstream of the disturbance. As the turbulent flow field passes through a sufficient length of pipe and encounters no further disturbances, the turbulence is reduced and decays to normal turbulent pipe flow. However, the acoustic field generated by the turbulent pipe flow persists and creates externally radiated noise. The fluctuating internal wall pressure field excites a vibration in the pipe wall. Depending on the pipe diameter, material, and pipe wall thickness, some noise frequencies will radiate through the pipe wall and create sound waves that people can hear. It's important to remember there's also a secondary source of noise. For example, flow velocity at Mach 0.3 and above may generate noise independent of the valve trim. This must be accounted for, predicted, and controlled according to industry standards. Emerson Noise Reduction Solutions Vibration and aerodynamic noise from a control valve can be controlled by source treatments or path treatments. Source treatments involve the control valve which is designed to reduce turbulence and the extent of the acoustic field. Source treatments include the Fisher Whisper Flow Model. Its unique passage shape reduces turbulence to minimize shock-associated noise. Places turbulent shear layers away from solid boundaries to reduce dipole noise. Multi-stage pressure reduction. First stage pressure drop ratio is greater than that of the second stage. Acoustic conversion efficiency is reduced for low pressure ratios. All the while, the design controls jet size formation, interaction, and accommodates the fluid expansion. Emerson has included its noise reduction technology in both its rotary and sliding stem control valves. Examples of trims used in rotary valves are V260A with aerodome trim and rotary attenuator for the V-ball, and trims used in sliding stem valves are Whisper 1, Whisper 3, and Whisper Flow. Path treatments rely on methods to attenuate the noise. For example, wrapping thermal insulation around a pipe to dampen the sound. Path treatments from Emerson include inline and vent silencers. Emerson Noise Expertise Emerson uses laser shadow graph technology to visualize and understand the differences between various types of noise reduction technologies for control valves. The following examples from Emerson show the importance of jet separation to reduce noise radiation. This standard trim example demonstrates the use of a standard drilled hole. There are three holes, each 1 8 inch in diameter, spaced 3 16 inches apart, with a centerline distance to hole diameter ratio of 1.5. At low pressure, the three jets are independent, from 0 to 50 psig. However, as the inlet pressure increases, the three jets gradually combine to become one large jet. This effect is detrimental to aerodynamic noise reduction. As the pressure drop increases, the combined jet structure continues to grow larger. Noise level increases. Overall sound pressure level is 102 dBA. This example uses the same three holes, each 1 8 inch in diameter, but the spacing ratio is 3. In other words, the distance between the holes has doubled. This time, the jets stay independent for the duration of the test. Emerson noise reduction expertise helps to produce products like Whisper Flow, 
which incorporates Fisher's noise reduction technology. Whisper Flow Trim features frequency spectrum shift, reduces strain energy in piping, maximizes piping transmission loss to reduce radiated noise, reduces acoustic energy in the audible range, exploits the natural damping of high-frequency acoustic waves, exit jet independence, controls the second stage pressure ratio to avoid jet coalescence, adequate spacing between jets, Jets are oriented essentially parallel to one another to avoid interaction. Noise is a complex subject. Emerson has the expertise to help meet your need for proper noise sizing based on downstream conditions. Fisher Control Valve Technology from Emerson Process Management provides customers around the world with leading critical valve solutions. You can count on Fisher products, backed by 125 years of valve development and manufacturing experience, to solve your critical valve needs.